Oh my God, we're recording now. Wow. I better do my makeup. I need some lipstick. My cousins went to my home yesterday. Your cousins went to your home, came to visit yep. you. Came to visit you or went to your hometown? Visit me. Ah, they're from your hometown. Where are they from? They're from Hazung. Hazung. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So are they still there or did they only come for five minutes and then they left? They're still there. They're still there or still there? <laughs> still there in Hazung or still there in your house? If you say still, still there, there in my house, so still here, aren't you in your house now? Yep. Well, then you're supposed to say they're still here because you are in your house. And if they're in your house, it's here. If you say they're still there, that means they're somewhere else. They're here. Remember? <laughs> Is that your mom? No. That's your aunt? Yep. Oh, hi, aunt. She didn't say hi. How's Trivet? Trivet? I don't know. You don't know how yes, Trivet is? There. And you don't know how she's doing? I don't know. Oh, my God. How's your mom? Mm, she does there, too. But you don't know how your mom is? You don't know if she's good, bad, normal, sick, uh, healthy? She, I don't know. <laughs> How's your dad? Uh, I don't know, too. You don't know, either? Mm -hmm. Do you know how anybody is? Lily said she's normal. I'm normal too. You're normal too. So you're both normal. Normal human. Normal humans. Oh my God. What is a normal human? Everybody's different. Nobody's normal. What is normal? <laughs> Nobody knows what normal is anymore. Where is that Mimi Milo? Holding up the vocab challenge. Mimi, where are you? Today, we have some funny stories. Hmm? Not so clever. Not so clever. Means stupid. Not so clever. Yeah, not so clever is about some, some really stupid criminals. <laughs> Where is it? Yeah, not so clever. So we're going to be on page uh, 85, 80, 84, 85. Yeah, we're going to read about not so clever criminals. Some people who were not thinking very well when they tried to commit their crimes and they obviously got caught in funny ways. So we're going to we're going to read about that today. One guy. What did he try to steal? Oh, yeah, he stole his friend's video games. And then another guy got out of jail and tried to rob a bank. But a bunch of senior citizens beat him up. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Interesting stories. Mm. Earth base. Any word from Mimi Milo? Earth base. Come in, Earth base. Are we going to start without her? Earth base. Come in, Earth Base. Earth Base, Mayday, Mayday. This is Mars Base. Oh, my God. I'm all alone again. Earth Base has abandoned me. Oh, I'm all alone on Mars. Earth Base. Moon Base. Anybody on Moon Base? Moon, moon, moon base. base. Come in. Mayday, Mayday. Moon Base is Miss Lay's office. <laughs> That's the moon. It's closer to Earth base. I'm way, way far away from Earth base and, and you, moon base. That's why I'm on Mars. Mars base. I'm on Mars. 
Earth Base, come in, Earth Base. Oh, yeah, Earth Base. Earth Base is our administration. It's like our Dallas, Dallas, Nassau. Earth Base, come in, Earth Base. That's the new uh, English station. <laughs> yeah. Earth Base, Martin Moon Base, and Mars Base. Okay. Oh, my God. I am getting a signal from Earth Base. Earth Base, do you copy? Yes. Nana is off today because she's on the way from her hometown to her house oh, on the bus. She's still in interstellar space travel. Hmm. All right. So no Mimi Milo. It's going to be Donnie against Lily or Lily against Donnie. Uh-oh. Man against woman. Girl against boy. Comphonian against Comphonian. Vietnamese against Vietnamese. Okay. Hmm. I got a message. Oh, my God. I got a message. What happened there? Is that important? Ah, okay. Okay. What? Okay. In the middle of my class. Unbelievable. Earth base. You're fired. Ah, and you screwed up my slides by making me open it up again. Unbelievable again. Brr. Sometimes things just never go according to plan. All right. Our first word today is going to be macaroni. Weapon. Arrow. One Weapon. is an arrow. Weapon. Donnie scores first. Weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> Weapons, yeah. right? Bow and arrow. That's an arrow, but it's also a bow and arrow. This is my, there's my vocab list. And what do they have down there in the bottom left-hand corner? What are those? Hmm? What do we have in the bottom left-hand corner? A gun. A gun? They look, well, no, it's not a gun. Bottom left-hand corner. No, I, uh, I do not. Mm, you have top left-hand, bottom left-hand, right up hand, right bottom hand. So bottom left hand corner. That picture. What do we have in that picture? Sword. Oh, yeah, we have swords. Swords. Shield. A shield. Anybody know what you call this one? It's like a bow and arrow, but it's on like a gun and you pull it back. And Crossbow. It. Crossbow. That's right. Ooh, Donnie knows his weapons. Play games in trouble. a lot in I love <laughs> a lot of games. Yeah, have all these weapons in the games, and these are rifles, guns. Yeah, they look like shotguns. I think that's a lot of shotguns. Holy macaroni! And what do I got over here? Semi-automatics, the black ones. Yeah, I think the ones over here, the black ones, look like machine guns. I'm not sure. A lot of guns. What are these? <laughs> Those are big weapons. Those are the ones I want. I blow up the whole city. <laughs> What do you call these guys? These are not guns. They're not bow and arrows. They're not crossbows. They're certainly not a shield. What do we call them? What are they? Big, big bombs, but there's a word for them. What do we call them? That's with an M. No, I don't know. They're called uh, yeah. missiles. Oh, missiles. Yeah, these are like rocket missiles. I don't know what country, but I don't think I want one to land here. That doesn't look good. <laughs> Not good. No, no, no. I don't think so. All right, let's go to the next one. Now, this can be used in many ways. Could be used for tents. Could be used for painting. Could be used for a tarp. It's a material. Very strong, rough cloth. Used for making tents, sails, bags, strong clothes, etc. What kind of material is that? All right, Cotton. we can't use... What's that, Donnie? Cotton. No, it's much, much stronger than cotton. Uh, This is like water resistant, too. Like if it rains, it, the water doesn't come through. Cotton, the water will come through. Ye jeans. Swim Jean. canvas. 
canvas yeah oh. jeans is uh well if you have cotton which well this isn't cotton i guess it's more like a polyester but a cotton oh. yeah like a t-shirt like i think donnie's shirt is probably cotton but that one when it gets wet you know water goes through it now jeans they're made of something called denim d-e-n-i-m denim and that's a really strong material too it was originally designed for worker pants like with miners in them and that's where denim came from but they became so popular that they became stylish and then they started making really nice jeans for people to wear every day and it's one of the most popular clothes almost everybody has some denim in their in their closet or their wardrobe um and then on top of that even more durable is whoops canvas now i know it's also a, a free uh editing software that you can use for making facebook videos and things like that that's just the company name but it's waterproof like if you use it for tents and stuff the water just rolls off it doesn't go through um, and sometimes they use it for like a canopy to cover something and it's also used for a lot of for painting because a lot of paintings are made with oil paints and they're made with uh, acrylic paints but they're watery right so you can't really paint on paper because the paper will get all mushy and I mean, we do paint on paper, but it's much better to paint on a canvas. Um, so, yeah. And then, then you might even have some jackets made of canvas. There's another one. I think it's called Gore-Tec, which is like uh, mountain equipment. People wear it when they're out in, in the, the wilderness, or especially in the cold, because it's also very waterproof and protects you from the weather and the rain and the snow. Yeah, but that's kind of like a canvas. Very, very strong material. Yeah. One, one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Tell me the story again. I want to know all the little. I want to know every. Ooh, the clock has so many fine. Object. Mm, objects. Oh. I need more. Mm. The doctor zooms in to observe the mm of this, this, this test result. The girl wearing glasses wants to know more about detail? this service in detail. detail? Oh. Lily is detailed. <laughs> Details, all the specifics. All the little intricacies. Yeah. If you open up a watch or a clock and you look at all the little sprockets and everything in there and how it all works so perfectly, there's a lot of little detail in there. If one little detail is wrong, it won't work properly. Yeah. Give me all the details. I want to know all the facts. What happened first? So this also is another material which is probably one of the oldest. Um, but it's also, a, I don't know if it's completely, it can be treated to be waterproof, but I don't think it's waterproof, but it's very, very durable. Very nice and expensive. What kind of material is this? Feather. What is it, Donnie? Feather. Feather? Yes. A feather on a bird? Fur? <laughs> no, it's not fur. Animal skin. Donnie, you got Donnie, you got it, but it's not an F, it's an L. You love your L's, right? Leaf. How do you say it now? Leather. Leather, feather, weather. Yeah. Leather is from a cow hide, is what they call it. It's animal skin. And yeah, um, this is, you know, I, I'm, you know, I think you can go all the way back to the caveman days where they used to use animal leather and fur to make clothes to keep warm in the winter. 
Um, so I believe leather has been used pretty much the whole history of, of humans. Yeah, leather is uh, very durable. I know the Native American Indians used the buffalo leather all the time. I think they used buffalo leather, buffalo skin for making their teepees, their tents, their homes, and all their food, and their, or their, their clothes, and their bags, and, and uh, all of that stuff. Yeah, leather quite the resource and they also use other animals too not just um cows and buffalo but they uh they also lose lamb skin to make softer leather and you even see some animal like um rattles snake skins and crocodile skin leathers those are also quite popular well i shouldn't say they're quite popular they were quite popular but now, as far as I know, most places, they are illegal. You're not allowed to, um, to sell crocodile anyway, crocodile leather. People were just killing lots of crocodiles for no good reason, just to get their skin to make clothes. So that was causing a big problem with, with nature. Yeah, but cows, we kill millions of them every day, probably. So it's a little different. We, it's better to use everything everything on the animal than to waste anything. So in that case, leather is, is probably good that we use it. And like I said, it makes really good quality clothes and shoes and belts and bags and everything. Leather. I love good leather. This is a crime. What is the crime? Still, mm. you don't always see the person who steals something from you. These guys, Thief. you see them. Thief. Ah, again, thief in the night. You wake up and your paintings and your money has gone. Those thief. are thieves. You don't see the thief. The thief is very sneaky. Rob. He rob. Yeah, oh. this is rob. When someone comes up to you and threatens you with a weapon, that's a robbery. He is being robbed. So they are robbers. That's why they call them bank robbers. They come in with guns or whatever and masks. They're robbing the shop. He's, he's uh, robbing. Um, that one could be called a few things. He comes with a gun. He does rob him. He gets him to give him his wallet. Right. So he robs him. Um, if he took the car, then it would be called carjacking. Or if you break into a car and you steal it, then it's called Grand Theft Auto. Just like the video game, Grand Theft Auto. That's what that means. It's, it's the, the crime name for stealing cars. And Grand Theft Auto, that's what you do the whole game. You keep stealing cars all the time. <laughs> Always stealing cars. Yeah, okay. I remember playing it way back on my PS2. I got good at it for a while, but then I stopped playing because it was just crazy how many hours I was wasting on that game. So I had to stop. When I went to Asia, I brought a PlayStation 3, but then I sold that too. I said, no more video games for Trevor. No time for that. Three, two, four. Lily. Lily robbed one from you. <laughs> mm. All right. What do you call people that have already retired? And what is it they get? What do you call the money they get? Usually from the government or the companies they worked for. Grandpa is uh, because he used to be a soldier. Now, there's different kinds. Pension. Again, Donnie? Pension. Yeah, it's called the pension is what you mm -hmm. get. That's the money. But if you get a pension, you are called a pensioner. Pensioner. Yeah. So a soldier, police officer, government worker, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, you would get money when you retire from the government. So therefore, you are a pensioner. Now, like my mom and dad. Well, my, my mom is different because my mom did both. Um, she did work for the government. So she gets her normal Canadian pension 
and her old age pension, but she also gets a government pension because she was uh, an employee of the government when she retired. But my father never worked for the government. He, um, he just worked as a normal worker his life, but he still gets a pension. He gets a Canadian pension and an old age, pe- provincial and old age pension. Um, both of them are not too big, but you put both together, they're okay. And his wife gets pensions too. So they, they can live okay as they have pension and they have their savings and stuff like that. Um, but they're, they are also pensioners now because they receive money. Someone who receives money, especially from the government, when they have retired. Someday we'll all be pensioners. Hmm. So we have a 3-3 three, three tie. Woo-hoo-hoo. Unbelievable. All right. This one. Your sister or brother's son. Hmm? Your sister or your brother's son. Cousin. son. What, Donnie? My cousin. No, cousin is your mother and brother's sons are your cousins but your trevette's children in the future will be your what your little sister lily when she grows up gets married has children her son will be your grandchildren no your grandchildren are your Nifu? children's children yes lily Nifu? nephew yeah nephew oh. <laughs> yeah, <but> thing. <laughs> yeah, okay, Donnie. All right, you, your children have children, then those children are your grandchildren, right? Just like you are your uh, your mother and father's parents are your grandparents, right? So it'd be the same thing when you have children and then they have children. First you'll become a father, then you'll become a grandfather. Um, that's the cycle of life, but your mother and your father, their brothers and sisters, children are your cousins. Those are your cousins, boy or girl. It doesn't matter. They're cousins, both. Mm -hmm. But now your brothers and sisters, in your case, you have one sister, right? Just two kids. Right? Just two children, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when your sister has children someday, when she gets married and has her family, do I have the other one in here? No, I don't. So that's good. So I can tell you both. Yeah. So let's say Trevette gets married and she has a boy and a girl too in the future. Yeah. The boy will be your nephew because you will be that boy's uncle. And your wife will be that boy's aunt. Or if you say aunt, aunt, there's another one. What's the other one? Aunt, aunt, and hmm, just depends where you are. Now, Donnie, do you know what you call your sister's daughter? If the boy is a nephew, what is the girl? Famille, nephew. <laughs> female nephew. There's no such thing as a female nephew. Nephew is a boy. Lily, you know what it is? Nice. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Close. It's niece. Niece. Yeah. Your but you both have younger sisters. So both of you. When your sisters, when your sisters grow up and they have their families, let's say though they have a boy and a girl. Her, your sister's son will be your nephew and your sister's daughter will be your niece. Oh, niece. And and I C E E C E niece C E ending. All right. So three, four, three, Lily. Hmm. Hmm. Not long ago, happening or starting from a short time ago. In years, I've been cursed with worsening eyesight. So only the last few years. Not, not that long. Kind of like Trevor. 
Recently. Recently oh. or recent. Yeah, five points for the lily. Recent, not that long ago, but occurring now. But it started not too long ago. Recently, there have been lots of government changes. Recently, uh, the world has experienced a pandemic and people have been recently having to wear masks from time to time. Uh, Trevor has recently been losing hair and his eyes are getting weaker because he's getting old. Hmm. This will make for some good sentences today. All right. What do you call a pile of small trees like this? Especially this one over here. A plant with many small branches growing either directly from the ground or from a hard stem. What would you call this? Now, he's cutting it up, so it, he's kind of making hedges with it to make it look pretty, right? He's making it all nice and square. And, and this is like a rainforest. I'm looking at the vegetation in here. That looks pretty crazy. But it's kind of like, you know, in the forest, you have lots of big trees and then you have a lot of a whole bunch of bash. small. Yeah. But it's not a bash. It's a bush. bush. It's a bush. They call it a bush or bushes. Oh, you're playing hide and seek or kick the can. And your friend is hiding in the bushes. You can't see him, but he can see you hiding in the bushes. Many animals like to hide and play in the bushes. They feel a little bit safer. So nobody can see them. Yeah. And it, like I say, if you cut them up and trim them and make them look nice, you can make the bushes look really nice. Bush. Donnie? Bush. Bush. Yeah. Bush. Here's a tough one. What do you call that hammer that the judge uses? Nah. Order in the court. Order in the court. What do they call that thing? Hammer. Well, it's like a hammer. Some people might call it a hammer. Maybe Thor might call his a hammer, too. Judge's hammer. A judge's hammer? No. <laughs> um. There's another special word for this one. And it's both pieces, the, the hammer part and the plate. Google mm. time. Find the answer. Quick, quick, quick. Who's going to get the job? 6-3. Donnie, you need to move your baby. You said the word already, Donnie. And I said that was a good guess. Jeans? No, oh, but what do they make jeans with? What's the material? Cotton. No. Denim. Denim. Huh? Denim. And you said that before, Donnie. No. Yes, you did. You said denim when we were looking at canvas. No. <laughs> You'll see when you watch the video. You did say it. Denim. Denim, denim, denim jeans. Uh-oh, it's 7-3 now. Donnie's got to get the next couple here. All right. So now we talked about crimes again. Now, when you go in with a weapon and you steal from people, you threaten them. That's a robbery, right? To rob someone. I think this is when a place has been robbed. Someone broke in and stole something. So you can't call it a robbery because a robbery, you have to use a gun or a knife or something to to threaten someone, to give you something. This one, I think, is like someone breaks in at in the night, for example. Steal? And, they, and they steal something. So there was, what's the name of that crime? Yeah, so I'm right. It's someone does break into a building or a house or something, but he does, he, does st he or she steals something, like Lily's mustache, but you didn't, didn't see who did it. Grimo. So what, what happened there? A person who illegally enters buildings and steals things. Hmm, this video is not working. Ah, yeah, I see my, I'm having one slide that is going crazy. So he comes and he steals this package over here. And then there was another video over here. But every time I open up the multiple screens on my monitors, 
it always affects because I, I know what's wrong. My, my hard drive is broken or something's wrong with it. I need to get a new hard drive. It's not processing the information fast enough. Okay. So does anybody know what you call someone who breaks in to a building, comes onto your proper property and steals something and runs away with it? Burglar? Yeah. Call him a burglar. Oh. That's the guy with the mask hiding in the dark. Oh, it doesn't look like I'm going to get the picture here. <laughs> oh, there he is. Look at this. Burglar, it came. There he comes. He's going to come in. He's hiding his face. He's going to come and steal the package. But I guess it's breaking into the building. I guess this would just be stealing or maybe just theft. I'm not sure if this would be classified a burglar or a burglary. I think you have to break into someone's property. I'm not sure if crossing the fence like this is considered burglary. Hmm. Eight, three, Donnie, you need this. What's he typing? Pass. What? No, 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 not a password. Passwords for your computer. This is your secret number to get money for your bank card, your ATM card. Pin? Yeah. Pin. That's right. Whoa. Uh oh. <laughs> Nine three. It's not looking good, Donnie. It's not looking good. There's only seven words left. You have to get all seven words if you want to win today. It is now nine to three. Hmm. It's the mustache. It's distracting. That's the problem, isn't it, Donnie? Donnie. Are you still with us? No. <laughs> no. A PIN number. Yeah, you always have to register a PIN number. I think it PIN means personal identification number. I think that's what it means, but I'm not sure. We always just call it a PIN for my whole life. ATMs came out when I was a teenager, so I've always had uh, bank cards. All right. It's kind of like a ransom here, too. If you don't pay me uh, $100,000, we're going to make the girl disappear. Or it could also be like you have pictures of you or someone and you don't want people to see them and you say ah, yeah. well yeah that's a really good guess because clearly you know they got guns it looks like her hands are tied up and they covered her head so it sure looks like she was kidnapped but this looks like a ransom situation it's, it, extortion it was, oh okay that's another really good one ransom extortion kidnap I couldn't, we couldn't really find a good picture for this. So I'm going to have to explain through all of them here for you. Um, okay. So in this first picture, what we definitely blackmail? have blackmail was the word I'm looking for. Correct. Blackmail. Now let me explain the differences. Um, kidnapping is when you take someone against their will, right? Forcefully. That's a kidnap. Um, it's a very dangerous and a very bad thing. Now, in if you look at these two pictures, they're videotaping her face. They're, you can see where she was blindfolded, right? She had a bag over her head. Um, and clearly, she's being kidnapped because she's got a gun on her. So on oh, the camera's on her, too. You see the little red light there. So someone has kidnapped her, and, and they want money. If they want that this girl back, right? Or they want something. Uh, and the other picture is a suitcase full of money. So that's one way of, of uh, asking for a, a ransom. That's often the case with a kidnapping. Um, they want the family to pay money to get the person back. And, and that's a kind of a form of extortion. Extortion. Extortion is very, very similar to like blackmail because it's kind of like 
Uh, it's kind of like the mafia or the bad guys, you know, like the little lilies with the mustaches and the little black hats. They come to your shop and they say, you're going to pay us money every month for security. And if you don't, we're going to start breaking your windows and make sure your customers are always afraid and they're not going to come shop here. So you're kind of being extorted, right? You're being, you're being, well, you're kind of being blackmailed. That's true. In a way, let's see what the difference is between blackmail versus extortion. Here we go. Blackmail versus extortion. All right. In terms, blackmail and extortion are often used interchangeably. So, yeah, like I said, they're very similar. Yet, in ordinary speech, they connote somewhat different behavior. Yeah. Blackmail generally refers to hush money. So it's kind of like, I know what you did last night. I know you stole that. I know you did the crime. I know you cheated on your, your wife or something. I have the proof. So if you don't want me to tell everybody, pay me and I'll be quiet. So that's like blackmail. Okay. To, to make me quiet so I don't tell everybody or show everybody the, the pictures I have of you. To extort refers to certain forms of public official misconduct. So, yeah, more like, like I say, you go to the Lily's little mafia, comes to Donnie's store and says, you're going to pay me money, mister, every month. Money, money, money. Or we're going to make trouble for you. You need our security from us. <laughs> like the mafia. Public official misconduct and those making threats of physical harm to a person or a property. Yeah, so that's, that's really the difference. You want to keep me quiet? Pay me. That's blackmail. Uh, you don't want me to destroy your building every month and scare your customers away? Pay me. That's extortion. Old-fashioned criminal tactics to get money from people. 10-3. Now, something that's very horrible happens all over the world, but we have to keep fighting against it, and, and we have to... We have to Support the people who are victims of these acts and these crimes. Um, but it happens far too much everywhere. What do we call that when a relationship gets abusive? It could, and I'm, in most cases, I mean, sometimes it is the woman and she does it in manipulative ways in a different way. It's the same charge, but it's more obvious with the men, because the men always use violence against the woman. Violence? Yeah, well, they use violence against the woman, or maybe they use violence against domestic the kids, too. Domestic violence? Yeah, it's domestic violence. Domestic means in the home, in the family. That is correct. Domestic violence. A big social problem, which is why parenting and... and Marriage counseling should all be part of schooling. You should all know about this before you yeah, get married off. Domestic violence. Can you say that, Donnie? Domestic violence. Domestic violence. That's why they call cats and dogs domestic, domesticated. It means they can live with people in their homes. Domesticated. My neighbor does sing in karaoke again. Yeah, see, now that's, you know, like in Canada, that would be illegal because now you're disturbing the peace. Um, you're not allowed to just go outside and make loud noises where it, it disturbs the people around or the people in the neighborhood. Um, they would call the police and the police would come and tell you to... Uh, to turn it off. If you want to do karaoke, do it inside your house, not outside to disturb everybody. That's one big difference from Asian countries and Western countries. The home life oh, yes. is, yeah, it's like a protest. But this one is getting a little violent. So this is not just protest can be peaceful. But here they're burning flags and um, fireworks are going off. Looks like people are trying to destroy things in the smaller picture. Violence. They're going to burn that van, I think. I'll break. So what do you call it when they get violent? I'll break. 
It's riot. Yeah, we call it a riot. Looks like a riot. I don't know where this one. I don't know if these. Well, these must be real pictures of real riots because um, I didn't. I didn't get the pictures to say where they were. But you can see here: racist, Islamophobia, misogyny. Those are a lot of the things that people riot against. And over here, I think that's the Ukraine flag, isn't it? The blue and the yellow. Because before the war, uh, the last elections, they had massive, massive riots and, and demonstrations and protests in the streets as well because of the different governments and stuff. Yeah. A lot of problems in a lot of countries these days. Right now in Sri Lanka, they're in a state of emergency. The people have swarmed the government buildings and the president's house and took it over. They had to evacuate him out of the country and all kinds of all kinds of political problems right now around the world. I got to sort all this stuff out. Hmm. Riot is when it gets violent. You want you see a riot, you want to get out of the way. You don't want to get involved. Riot. Do, 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 do. Unfortunately, Lily, you get your record today. It won't count because there's only two students. Has to be a minimum of three students. I should make that a minimum of four, really. Because one did it at three, one did it at four, one did it at five, and one did it at six students. Add them. Yeah. All right. So what do we call that hammer again? Remember? Yes. What is it? Gravel. Not gravel. Gravel is dirt with rocks mixed together. No R. Gavel. Yes, gavel. But who uses the gavel? <laughs> who uses a gavel? Gaveler. <laughs> Good try, but no, that woman behind the bench there, she's the one telling the lawyers and prosecute lawyer and prosecutor what's going to happen and how we're going to do things. She is the of the courtroom. She's the big boss. Law? Lawyer? Wow. Law is the system, yeah. Legal system, the law is what's written down in the books. Yeah. Judge. Yeah, it's a judge. Judge, 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 judge. What have you got? 13, Lily? 12 or 13? Are you keeping track? Wait, wait, wait. Are you writing down your words that you get? I think you got 12, but I might have missed one. 12, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, how many did, you, did we miss? Oh, no burglar. We got that. Uh, you do have 13. See, we only missed one, right? That was, uh, which one did we not get? De uh, denim, was it? No, gavel. We didn't get gavel. That was the one we didn't get. Okay. Okay. All right. Judge, yeah. So, again, we're talking about crime, and, and we're talking about all the different kinds of crimes and the people who work in those fields and the words and the vocabulary all around the law. That's why we have gavel and judge. Now, all right, so here you, got a, here you have a judge. She's behind the bench, and you have one of them is a lawyer and one of them is a prosecutor. So the lawyer is the person who defends you and me. The prosecutor is the government lawyer. He's the one who's trying to say, you're guilty. You're going to jail. Your lawyer is saying, no, 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 no. no. We're not guilty. No, no, we're innocent. And then that's why they argue the evidence in front of the judge to see what's going to happen. Right. It's supposed to be very fair. It's a good system if it was used properly. Very good system. And then it makes it fair for everybody. System. So sometimes... Sometimes it'll be the judge that decides with the evidence who is innocent and who, or, or if the, okay, the defendant, the person accused of something, the judge will decide whether you're innocent, you can go home, or you're guilty, you can go to jail, right? They can decide that. But in some cases, it's not the judge that makes the decision. The judge just polices and manages 
the room to tell everybody what is good and what is bad and what is good evidence and bad evidence and just make sure everybody follows the rules. But people sit over here. People that are selected from the public, usually like 12 of them. And they're the ones that are going to discuss together the evidence and decide whether the person is guilty or innocent. What do we call those people? That group of people, actually. Cops? I don't know. No. Usually it's like 12 people, I think. What is it? The body of people, typically 12 and a member, sworn to give a verdict. Verdict is guilty or not guilty in a legal case on the basis of the evidence, the proof submitted to them in the court. And the judge's job is to make sure that the evidence is honest and everything is being done by the law. And then these people will decide. Yes, Lily is guilty of extorting Donnie's macaroni pasta shop. Hi. <laughs> Lot like that. Maybe. Or maybe Donnie was, was proven innocent of stealing Lily's mustache. So who do you, what do we call these people? This group of people. They are the... Jerry? Yeah, jury is what we call these people. An elected group of people randomly the, through the public, the people in that city or that area. And they're the ones that are going to decide according to the evidence and according to the law if the person is innocent or guilty. Yeah. And they're called the jury. All right. So let's keep going. So we have the judge who runs the room, right? And then you have the jury. could be one or the other. Sometimes it's just judge alone, and he decides on the evidence what's going to happen. You have a lawyer. You have a prosecutor. And this all happens in a big room. What do we call the room? See, you can see the jury box over there. You can see the judge's bench over there. You can see the prosecutor's table here. You can see the defense over here. The people can sit back here and the press can sit back here. This is what oh, we, Ross, This is where we have the trials. What do we call it, Donnie? Congress. Congress. Oh, well, Congress is about the government. That's like um that's a group of people in the government who talk about bills and laws and different things. Congress and Senate and I get confused with all the different uh, the different groups. It's confusing. I, I wish politics were was taught more in school too. I feel people really don't know much about politics and they, and we should know more about politics. It affects all of us. But no, this is where we do the trials. Yeah, it's a courtroom. It's a it's called the courtroom. I have to go to court today. Oh. Right. So I go to court and then I go into the courtroom and I meet my lawyer and I sit down with him. And then the prosecutor comes and the judge comes and anybody else who wants to watch comes. And then I don't know who goes first. Maybe maybe the prosecutor talks to the to the jury and says, we believe that Trevor Dallamont uh, stole one million dollars from illegal ATM scams. And we have some witnesses and we have some proof that we'd like to put forward to the judge. And my lawyer says, ladies and gentlemen, please now, Trevor, steal a million dollars from people's ATMs? Don't be so silly. I will show you evidence to prove that Trevor did not steal no million dollars from anybody. And then the evidence will be exhibit one, exhibit two, and they'll present the evidence. And then the prosecutor might ask me questions. And then my lawyer will ask me questions. And, and then they'll go through the trial. And they'll go through the trial. And then at the end of the trial, they say the judge or the jury says, the verdict, Mr. Trevor Dalimont, we find you guilty. Of stealing the one million dollars from all the ATM machines. 
Huh? Oh my God. So then it's the judge's job. And the judge looks at the crime, looks at the seriousness of it, and he says, hmm, Mr. Trevor Dolimont, I sentence you to 10 years in prison. And I go, who? Huh? What the hell? And then they take me away in my handcuffs in my little orange suit and they put me in jail. And now I have become what? What do you call that guy in, in jail? What do you call this guy that was captured by these medieval? I don't know who or what they are or this soldier who was captured by the other army. All three of them are what now? When you are under the power of somebody else, a person held as a punishment for crimes they have committed or while awaiting a trial. What do you call someone who lives in jail? Actually, what's the other word for a jail? The bigger one, the one where you spend a long time in. What do they call that one? Oh, no. No, oh, the big one where they put all the really bad people. What do they call that building? They don't really call it a jail. Jail is usually smaller and short time and detention center and all that kind of stuff. But if they say you're going to go for 10 years, they're not going to put you in jail. They're going to put you in a uh, what? It's got security everywhere, big walls around it. Starts with a P. Prison? Yeah, they're going to put you in a prison. So if you're in a prison and you live there now, you are a prisoner. You are a prisoner. That is right. Prisoner. But you don't have to be in a prison to be a prisoner. You could be in a dungeon back in the medieval times, right? Because that was their prisons, right? A dungeon in the bottom of a castle somewhere. So you would be a prisoner. And here, this girl, because, I mean, obviously, you see uh, soldier outfits and machine guns. So, obviously, it's some kind of war or something's happening. And they've captured her. So, she's a prisoner of war now. So, different kinds of prisoners. But, nonetheless, a prisoner. Someone has caught you and accused you of something. Yeah. All right. So, unfortunately... Well, no, fortunately, but a great job for Lily, of course, because she got 16 points today. 16? <laughs> 16 to three. They only missed one. You, you break <laughs> the record? Um, but no, that's the thing is we have a rule that there has to be a minimum of three students in the class in order to break the, the record. Mm. So uh, Jack did it with three. Gappy did it with four. Four, Bacon did it with five and Adam did it with six students in the class and all four of them have gotten 13 points and Lily's gotten 12 she got 12 last week almost tied that record but today unfortunately even though you get 16 it's not a record there's only two people here <laughs> not fair and I think pretty soon I might change that to a minimum four people in the classroom three seems a little low too but anyhow, nonetheless, you got 16 out of 20 words. And Donnie's pretty good at this game, too. He's won quite a few challenges. So that's a good, good, a good, good game. And Donnie did start good, but it looks like he kind of slowed down a little bit at the end. <laughs> slow down more than slow. Never quit. Never quit. Always keep going. All right. So you're going to do your sentence challenge with Miss Lay. We're going a little fast tonight. Oh, not as less people, nice. but that's okay. Maybe a little longer break. Who knows? <laughs> um, and then uh, you'll take your break after this. And then we've got some funny, funny stories to read. So don't need you first. Haha. Gentlemen first, <laughs> because he's a winner. Lady and gentlemen. Lady first. Yeah, lady and gentlemen, but this time gentlemen first, because lady is the winner. <laughs> Mm, with a mustache? With a mustache? Are you trying to trick us? You first, Donnie. Number one. Weapon. 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 What is your weapon of choice? Um, 
It can be the real meaning, or if not, they call with a uh, saw gun. Shotgun. It's called a shotgun. Oh, saw gun crossbow is weapon. But there's no saw gun. There's a shot gun. No saw. Saw. What's yeah. a saw gun? Saw. Saw. Spell it. Saw. S W O R D. Sword. Mm-hmm. Like no W, right? So you or sword. But a sword mm-hmm. is not a gun. No, saw is a a tool. Yes. A weapon. S O W. S O W. Yes. S W O R D. Sword. You know the sword that they fight with. Like Lily looks like Zoro. They fight with a sword. Um, S W O R D. W O R D for the silent D. Oh, gun. Sword. A sword. Yeah. A it's a, whip- a weapon. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, but you don't say sword is a weapon. You say a sword is a weapon. Many, many, many. Or you but could say gun. Kata- gun. I, I heard him say gun too. Yeah. Sword. A sword is a sword. Sword. Gun. Yeah. sword. <laughs> See, you should make that plural, Don. You should you should say swords. <laughs> swords plural, and guns are dangerous weapons. And then you put a little adjective in there, and then you have a beautiful sentence. Swords and guns are dangerous weapons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Say it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have already made a sentence. I quit. Canvas. It's the material. Canvas. Yeah, canvas. Material here. And like Mr. Trevor said, it's very, I think it's, it's uh, this app. It's very, very popular for students, like a university students. I, I met some of them and majority that they use Canvas, the app to design some thumbnails, pictures, and something. But this is material. So what's your sentence? What's your example with Canvas? Lily, the pirate. Lily, the yeah, pirate. Yeah, you can talk about your pirate ship and Canvas. Where would you use canvas on your pirate ship? <laughs> to make what? Uh, look, look at his beautiful canvas. Ah! <laughs> what the heck is that? It's not. It's not right. It's just 20, right? <laughs> I, where would, you, where would you use canvas on your pirate ship? You would use a lot of it. Where? For what? To make what? But how does a pirate ship move? It doesn't have any engines. I don't know how to say that. You don't know? Sail, right? The sails. The sails would be made of canvas, yeah. I think so. Okay, already Donnie. Oh, <laughs> detail. Detail. And here, you know, that in our slide, we have very, very nice one is in detail. In detail. I think that is a very, very good phrase, yeah, <sighs> that we should... We should know and we should use more often in detail. Hmm. Something in detail. So what's um, your example? A smartphone needs a lot of detail. Information about something. Mm-hmm. No. Details. The smartphone yeah. needs a lot of details. For what? Think about something that needs much detail, like a painting or something, or a project or something, or an explanation. Because think the phone, it. I think they already um, to to destroy the the plane is lead a lot of detail. Hmm. That is a sentence. Destroy. Hmm? Why is that? You're talking about war. Yes. <laughs> That it is not a lot of things in detail. Okay, I'm not really sure about destroying a plane, but a lot of things in detail. So that's a good uh, phrase. Things well, an detail. example with a plane crash or destroying a plane would be, you know, after the plane crash, a lot of we we need a lot more details about what happened. Right, more detail is more information. 
they, then we can figure out what happened, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. This is interest 20 now. And Lily and Donnie and Mimi, they're strong. And, you know, they're the next... Uh, they're the next Jills and Adams in them. So I want them to be a little bit more focused and, and, and do better with their sentences at this level. They're going to be B2 soon. Uh, Lily, leather. Material. Um, um, she is stealing his leather back. Oh, my God. Stealing and you know about that. Think about the use of leather think about where it comes from make some nice sentences oh for actually actually with that i think like you observe right you observe and then you know that he is stealing but usually i think we use stole right when it happened and you know about that so he stole her leather what you said oh, well, you, you could be witnessing the crime hmm could be seeing it happen but yes right it's now. grammatically right i know that it's like uneasy that we just try to fix but we just encouraged you guys try to make uh, maybe different using different structures and absolutely nicer <laughs> i'm getting at that level now okay donnie what about number five it's yours rob mm -hmm. you can you rob you can you rubber as the person gram you know um and robbery ob obvious robbery robber robber you can use all different forms of this word yeah oh that laptop is stolen by the robber that what robber you mean that they 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 rob and then you can see it you there right you you, you see the different in our yeah, slice, right? That's why we call rob. I remember when you're being robbed, that crime specifically, you see your robber that he might have a mask on, but you see the person in front of you using a knife or a gun or something. And you in the situation, you in the 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 like as a scene. If it's movie, you in the yeah. scene. Understand, yeah. Donnie? Yes. Right. It's different. Still, it's like a Mr. Trevor said. Usually, thief. When they steal something, it's they they sneak it, right? You don't know about that, and then it happened, and you you said, "Oh, someone stole my bike or something." Don't know. But Rob is directly right. Oh. Yeah. You outside in the, on the street in the street, and then they, and using the phone, and then they just rob your phone, run away, kind of that. So, what should be the example? Mm, I don't know. Uh, you, you can use uh, Donnie. Actually, you've learned a lot of structure. You can use uh, passive voice, active, or also okay, but you can use passive voice. Uh, the police is run to the pass. police. It's it's plural. So the police. It, if if you use like uh, with B is R. The police are. The police are uh, run to running. Pass. To cat that rubber rubber okay or chasing actually i know what you mean but they could have to chase right chasing so the bullies are chasing after the rubber try to get him or them or something okay chasing run after number six for lily pensioner is a person but of course you can use pension the money my grandpa is a passenger because he was a soldier. Um, okay. He was a show, soldier. Soldier, soldier. Because he was a soldier. Soldier. What? Soldier. Sorry. It's a little bit confused with soldier. Shoulder. Soldier. Yeah, my my grandfather is a pensioner because he was a soldier. Hmm. Actually, mm -hmm. other too. My mom, my parents are also pensioners, but they were just workers. They also uh, got this or get this. Yeah. But yes, that generation, sure. Nephew. So now Donnie know nephew. What nephew means? Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's Chavet, it's Chavet's uh, son, Chavez, Chavet's son. Okay, Miss explain that 
nephew is like Trevet's son. <laughs> But who knows? Only you and me know Trevet. No one knows about that. Yeah. So yeah, you just say um, he has two. Of course, this one just simple family member. So you can say that he has two um, energetic or something nephews. I explained, but Chauvet, no one knows Chauvet, who Chauvet is. All right. Number low. No, no one low. knows. Number eight, recent. Recent or recently. Not not long ago, not long. Just. Lily, number eight, recent. Usually we use recently, recently with the present perfect. It's very easy to make sentences. Um, but this one as the verb, as the adjective, I think you can use like a recent event or something. Sure, you can, you can make sentence with this. Lily, number eight. Um, wait, wait. Um... There is an event recently. Mm, there is. There has been. Yeah, there has been. There, there, there have been. There have been um, some events recently. Or you can say there have been. Uh, there have been recent event in my city. Yeah. Because usually recently we use present perfect. We talk about the result, right? But no time, no specific time. I don't think that we, we can use, not really sure, but I don't think that we can use present simple because it's not habit. It just, um, yeah, they said that starts saying from short time ago. So it means that it happened in the past, but no specific time. So usually we use present perfect. So you can say there have been uh, some recent event in my city. Or uh, there are some big events. There have been some big or uh, important uh, events recently in my city. Number nine. Just uh, now, uh, Donnie. Bush. Yeah. Bush. Bush. Short, Bush. Yeah. short plants, right? Very, very short plants. Soft plant. Yeah, plants or trees. Yeah, very, very short, just low. Uh, mm, soft plant, soft, a uh, soft plant can be called a bush. <laughs> can be called mm. a bush. Um, yes. Donnie also tried to pay attention to now. Yeah, this one. Yes. Yeah, this one, bush. Um, you can count. The thing is, now we are using structures. Of course, we have to analyze the now. That it, it, it's countable or uncountable. This one's countable. So we say that like a low plant, right? Even here, the plant with many small branches, very low and kind of big, right? Called um, a bush. You have to put all there, right? Call a bush. Or oh, there are some bushes uh, in our garden. Yeah. Gavel <laughs> is the first time I know about these two of the judge. So, Lily, number 10, Gavel. Where's the judge Gavel? <laughs> it's, a, it's a verb. It's a verb? No, it's just a noun. Use, right? When does the just use a gavel? Okay? It's a noun, Lily. Yeah. Use, yeah. take, yeah. I mean, where's the just gavel? But it's not a verb. I don't see it as a verb here, Lily. It's just a noun. So I think when the just, or when did just, when does the right, just uh, use the gavel, Yeah, we have to put the verb there. It's not a verb. It's just a noun. And I even use the Cambridge here. But um, no, it's more hammer used by the officer in terms of meeting or something. So 
have you ever used the gavel? Donny, it's a material too. Denim. Hmm? Denim. Den -ni -men. Den -men. Denim. Denim. Oh. The material for we they, they use to make jeans, yeah. Mm. Uh, mm, a lot of factory use denim to make jeans. A lot of factory use denim to make make jeans. To make what? What structure is that, Donny? To infinitive with two. How can you you make with to two? Make. To make jeans. Yeah, you said jeans. Yeah, I think this material, right? I think this material they use to make jeans. Yeah, so and you, you say that a lot of companies or factories use uh, denim to make jeans. But I think the fact that it's for making jeans, only this. Is, I'm not really sure if they use different, but here with explanation, it's a material for jeans. Lily number 12. Burglar person break into someone's house. Is a great burglar. It's what? A great burglar. It was a great burglar. It's the, 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 the serious, right? That you mean burglar. No, burglar is the person. Yeah, great burglary. Burglary, you mean. Burglary is the, is the, the, the thing that happened. Right? Burglar is a person who broke into someone's house and steal things. So what do you want to say? He was a great burglar. Great. You mean like a serious or dangerous? <laughs> he was a, a great burglar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, wow. sounds, it sounds really positive. Yeah, it would have and to this be like thing notorious is negative. for the bad reasons. Mm. So he's a notorious burglar. He's famous, but famous for bad things. A notorious burglar. Mm. Like an so. outlaw. Yeah, I think so, because great <laughs> sounds really positive. It, 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 it looks like it's not suitable in this situation. Like, you great. So how can we say a burglar? He already illegal. He already committed crime, right? So maybe dangerous. Yeah. Okay. Pin here, Mr. Trevor. It's exactly personal information, right? Personal information number. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. The explanation right under the slide. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, what can you do with this pin? Uh. It's the uh, short form of personal information number. Uh, PIN is a short form of personal. <laughs> I have no standard for it. Much? Uh, PIN, PIN a, yeah. is a short form for personal. A personal information number. Yeah. <laughs> Short form, yeah. It's it's it stands. Isn't it? It's Acronym is the first letters. Abbreviation is when you shorten a word. Acronym is when you take FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation, PIN, yeah, NASA, National Astronaut Association. Ac abbreviation, I think. Uh, acronym. Mm. Yeah, personal. I'm uh, sorry. It's not information. Identification, not in information. Personal identification number, right? So, can he say that PIN stands for stands for personal identification number? Yep. Yeah. So, Tommy, Adoni, we should say stands for, right? Like a short. Right. Uh, is the short form? We can we say a short form? Well, you can say short form, but it has a name. It's called an acronym. Hmm. So I think that for me, I just say PIN stands mm. for 
personal identification numbers, not information. Sorry, sorry. Even if it starts, even, even it starts, initiate with uh, I, but no identification, not information. All right, that's Donny. So now back to Lily, blackmail. Mm -hmm. Now our verb. Wow. She uses blackmail to get money. She used, right? Already happened. So use this to blackmail me or him to get to get money. It's Donny already number 15. Me oh. domestic violence means can you explain it? You remember the, the videos, a few videos, like the man just beating the woman in home, at home, oh, like oh, domestic I remember, I remember. in the house. Um, in my house. Uh, in my house. It's in my house. It doesn't have. It don't have domestic violence. It doesn't. It doesn't have. Uh, yeah. Domestic violence doesn't exist in my in my house. It doesn't exist in my house. That's great. Yes. All right. Uh, the next one here for Lily. Still remember riot? People rebelling on the street? People just don't agree with something and they go on strike rebelling on the street? Everyone, everyone thinks she is a riot. Raya is a person? No, I don't think so. Uh, no, it is, a, no. it is a slang. Everybody thinks she is a riot, meaning riot in that in that context, it means like a lot of fun, hilarious person. She's a oh, riot. Okay. okay. Very highly entertaining. Yeah, because I see, see here, riot is just like a noun and verb, and riot is the um, the thing, the situation, no in violent public gathering. She is a riot, is idiot. A real riot. This is a real ball <laughs> of energy. Yeah, because the noun here is rioter. Oh. Rioter. It's a noun for person, people, rioters. Okay. Rioters is bad, yeah. Yeah, rioter. <laughs> it's real. Rebeller, right? Rebel. Yeah. Um, back to Good. Donny Judge. Actually, not, not just in cost room or cost house. Uh, it can be anything. It can be in the uh, competition or contest. Okay. Can be a just for any events. Costume can be a event. Can be? Mm, for sure. Like uh, our in our last in our last lesson of Inter Forty, I was a just there. I been I would uh, I helped Mister Trevor to like uh, see who talks or to say it, the word first and who's the winner or something like that. So yeah, it has different in different situations. You can be a judge for different things, not just in the court court house. Miss Lee. Already has been explained what cost you mean. <laughs> it's just, a, just number 17, you always make sentence like that so you don't really use your structure. Use the structure you learned you in high school now. Don't try it like that. You're lazy on <laughs> at, at something and we cannot just improve that area or that field. Oh, the chucker said that the grammar will be die. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Sentence. The just mm. declare. The just declares that um, he he was guilty. <laughs> Declare that he was guilty. Okay, so now it's different. <laughs> Lily, number 18, jury. The 12 people in the classroom, right? We need to get that jury rather fixed. We need to get that jury rather fixed. Jury what? Fixed? 
Jury, what? We need to what? We need to get that jury uh, rather fixed. I still cannot get so, because jury here is the group of people, right? Jury. Like in the course, how Mr. Trevor explained that, like a child, then they there, they sit there with the judge, right? So what need, what's from them of them that needs to be fixed? Well, no, it makes sense because you, you, it could be a situation where during the court, because it takes time, that they found But I couldn't out, get what she said. What juries? Uh, the jury needs to be fixed. Jury needs to be fixed. That's it. I thought that she has something there more. Oh, and what, did you, is that, what did you say, Lily? Is that not what you said? The jury needs to be fixed? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah okay um because it could be that it's come to the court's attention that one or two jurors um might be racist or something or or you know something sure they have criminal records or something and they have to make some some adjustments or or kick out a couple of people yeah for, for me that I don't really, especially in English, right? I don't really have a lot of knowledge about this. But if you just say that we need to have the jury fixed, it's grammatically right. <laughs> okay, Donnie, number 19, court room, she, just the room. You should have given more detail. Uh, court room, no. Easy. It's just the place. Have you ever there? No. So just say it. You use different structures, you just learn, you learn, right? You review all the structures. So mm -hmm. use them. If not, you just lose them. You just say it. I have never been in the court room. I have been in court room. So you have been in court room. Yes. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Lily, the ah, last one. Court room, one of many. Many. It can be the because we know what the it was, or it is prisoner. Look at that ugly prisoner. <laughs> okay, so you work hard because only two of you today. So in every part, you had to work hard. So take short break, take a break, and after that, get back to the lesson with Mr. Trevor about the topic. Bye-bye from Miss Lee. Bye-bye. Bye. So those are really, really important. And, and once you remember those, it's going to make your verbs a lot easier and it's going to make your speech a lot easier. So we got to remember those guys. All right, then. Okay, Lily, go have fun with your cousins. Congratulations on 16 points. And officially. <laughs> what about me? Well, good job in the first quarter of the race <laughs> when you went back and forth until we got to about seven and then and then lily sped away in her ferrari <laughs> but donnie you, you got it there you know you you do you, you you have the habit of looking up on google and finding answers fast that's important because in real life it's about speed who gets the answers who solves the problem first is the one who wins period that's real life right Second thing is, I can see you have fun with the vocab and learning the words. And you do really good in the vocab challenge. But Lily's really strong at that, too. Of course, she's won a lot of competitions. So don't, don't feel bad in any way. And most people have a hard time against Lily at this level. Third, um, your pronunciation is getting much better. You just go look at all your tests. Every test, you're getting better and better and better. And here's the secret. Baby step, baby step, baby step, baby step, baby step, baby step. And then after time, it's a big step. And you see the difference. Don't compare yourself to other people. Compare yourself to what you did yesterday and be better tomorrow. One little step at a time. Just like me with my YouTube channels. You know, you watch the ones I started making two years ago. Not so good. But little by little by little by little, they get better. 
the classes, the green screens and different different effects and, and the way we run our vocab challenges and sentences, little by little by little, they get better. So, you know, two years ago, little, 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 little steps today, much better. But that's how you have to do it. Success does not come overnight. It takes a lot of work, a little bit every day. Okay, buddy? Mm -hmm. All right. Good job. Good job, both of you guys. And we will see, no, none of you are in reading. So we'll see you all next Saturday. What? 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 You, 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 Donnie, you didn't even say goodbye. How rude. Ah. Goodbye, Lily. Bye. Bye, cousin. <laughs>